Hello and welcome. Let's uh, do one of those buy low, sell highs. Do it within Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin. And I'll be doing so within that of uh, Small Basic. To run this program, you need to first have it, which is available download on the internet. Small Basic is a uh, computer programming language program, which you put in code and it'll run the code. And in this case, it is to uh, play this game. And I will publish this on the internet. And what will come up is a six digit code. That is HVK387. And you do so by uh, uh, import. And then you just put in the code like that, and then it'll load up. I want to do this in two different methods. And I'm just going to pause the tape now and just put this into proper screen for you. And it worked out right off the bat on day one, which is right when the uh, fork happened, that volatility was really big. You're going to start off with 10 Bitcoin cash, 150 Litecoin. So on the next day, in the auto, I got it set for like 17% moves. And I'll show you at the end of the video, or at the end of the first part of this, uh, what happens when you have, uh, how you can change it for higher or lower numbers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to be pushing two, four, and six along the way. I won't be using the one, three, and five. Five, you can just go to whichever price range you want to. Six does it automatically either way. Here, Bitcoin Cash has gained 56.87% since the start. So, I would sell Bitcoin Cash. But I'm going to sell light here, which would be like three to four. The next section would be doing it heavy. Now, oh, Litecoin gains 67%. So I would sell Litecoin. Maybe sell about 50 of them. And then Litecoin gains 89%. So let's sell them again. Maybe sell about 70. Not quite half. The next time we do it, it'll be bigger numbers. So automatically, we're just going to go to Bitcoin Cash up 40%. Sell some of that off. Maybe something like seven which is I, I would normally sell more at least on an aggressive level that would be in the next part Litecoin gained 19 and a half percent so that's a pretty light gain so let's sell like 19 of them and then Bitcoin cash 18.6 so let's do like 2.7 and uh, next up Bitcoin cash up almost 50 percent so that's on the 18 if I was going aggressively I might go like nine or ten but in here I'm going to go like uh, five and a half and then it gains 44 percent so let's uh, do like 4.9 and then Litecoin's up 17 percent so let's go 36 then Bitcoin Cash is up 18 percent so let's go 1.7 now Litecoin's up 18 percent so let's go 35 Litecoin's up 22, so let's uh, sell maybe 31. And now it's up close to 20, so I'll do just a little more than, noticeably more than 10%. And now same thing, noticeably more. Same thing on the Bitcoin Cash, so that's like 2.7 or something. And... And then when you keep going at this, you're just going to get gains that's just going to work uh, for you that, that are going to be better than like any type of gains you would get by just investing money in whatever a lot of things because the gains are going to be, you should at least double this with this, uh, this type of trading strategy. So in here I'll go like sell maybe 24 and Litecoin now gains 23% so maybe sell like 24 Litecoin now gains 33%, so maybe sell 29. Now Bitcoin Cash has a de decent gain, nothing too great, but sell 3. 
and then it has another okay gain of 23%, so maybe 4.4, and then it gains 31, so maybe I'll sell four of them, and then it's gained 68%, so that's a pretty substantial size gain, so maybe four and three quarters, and then it gets 26, so maybe two even, and then Litecoin has a big gain of 69%. So I can maybe put in a, a light sale of just selling 90 is to me light in that situation. Bitcoin Cash now up 37. So we got ownership of 16. I can uh, maybe put in, uh, let's go, maybe 4, 3.8. And then Bitcoin Cash with 31% uh, move. So... Let's go 2.75. Litecoin now gains 32, so I can do better than 20%. So let's maybe go 77. And then Bitcoin Cash, not quite enough. And look at that, I passed on 15%, it goes down the other way. Okay, Litecoin's up 19%. So let's uh, uh, end up selling it at uh, uh, 44 and it's up 27 again, so let's maybe do 45 because it's a bit better of a gain. Now let's go 42. And sometimes if you scale back with those cells, if it comes in where Litecoin maybe just want to pen an aggressive play, like this would be one of the spots where it would be probably advised where it might be a good spot to do it, but for this, we'll just sell maybe 33. And then it gains 27, so we keep getting plays in. Let's go 25 this time. Now Bitcoin Cash has a gain of 34, so maybe we'll sell like 7. And like, well, that's not bad at 15%. Maybe we should be taking it. Um, so something like this, just a, a light amount, maybe 20. Now Bitcoin Cash with the gain of 30%. Maybe that was a little small of a sale, but if you do it, oh, now I can sell more because there was 55% the next day. So that's, the, and I think selling nine is light. I think you should be selling more if you have a gain of that nature. And you can see the next day it has a pullback. So let's uh, sell maybe 36 Litecoin. And sell some more, maybe go 44 this time. Sell some more, maybe go uh, 35. Litecoin gains again, but just a small one, so down to 21. Bitcoin Cash with a small gain, so maybe 4.4. Get 27 Litecoin back. We're on day 246, Litecoin with a gain of 19. And this is just, it's, it's kind of boring, but it's it doesn't take that long considering you're going through over two years of real history along this. And so you're selling 182, or have, owning 182 here, let's just sell like 23, something small. And Bitcoin Cash with a small gain, so maybe we'll go five here. Bitcoin Cash again with another small gain, so sell another five, and another small gain, this time I'm gonna sell just four. This time Litecoin with a small move and 33 maybe. And you just take advantage of as many of these as you can uh, take you can get. So there's uh, maybe a spot where we want to go maybe three and a third. And then here maybe 33. And another small move so maybe go like three and two thirds this time. And another one so maybe three and a quarter. And then Litecoin 28%, day 472. So uh, still got some decent amount of time before we get to uh, where we are now. Litecoin 300 we own. So maybe 49. And 16% gain, you might as well do some more, maybe 32. And another good gain, let's uh, do 28. And another small gain, let's... Uh, do 33. Actually, I want to do less than that. 30. 
And another d decent gain here. Let's go 32. Another good gain. Let's go 21. Bitcoin cash with the gain. And last time we got 21 Litecoin. If I end up just, say, getting here, I'm getting like 34. Well, now I can get a nice little play. 35% gain on Bitcoin cash. And let's just do nine and a half. And then Litecoin with a 19% gain. So let's go 29. Litecoin with another okay gain. So let's just do something small again at 24. Another small gain. And 20 will sell. Another one. So let's go maybe 17 this time. And another one. So let's go 14. And the numbers keep going lower with these plays. Bitcoin Cash with a little bit of a move here. Let's uh, uh, sell like 8 because, I mean, we get 25 Litecoin by doing this. And now we can sell maybe 9.5 here. We get 37. Now Litecoin with a small move, so we get that there. And day 680. This is kind of boring, and I'm trying to do this as fast and efficiently as I can. I, and I I want to go faster, but I think I'm doing it as fast as I can. I don't know a lot of you are thinking, oh my goodness, this is going so fast. And for me, I wish I could be going faster on this. I'm just waiting for the plays to come to me. So just like real life, oh, Bitcoin Cash happens to have 20% in the last, last trade. Okay, so let's get rid of some. And just doing a little uh, not so aggressive here, maybe seven and a half. And then we have another one. Okay, let's uh, sell again. We got uh, 44. Let's go six and three quarters. And okay, so now the game is over for this one. We have 44 Litecoin and uh, that of 100 and we'll say 177, excuse me, 144, 45 even. 44 and three quarter Bitcoin Cash, 177 Litecoin. Which means like four and a half times more Litecoin and like 27, like 170, so we got like 27 more of the BCH, so we'd have about a, uh, close to a 20% gain there, but over a 4x move on the Litecoin and let's see if we can improve on those numbers again again I'm gonna set it up and we'll go for the first day so try and sell more aggressively you can get into situations where you can get close to selling other coins by doing strategies like this but your gains are going to be better so now we have Bitcoin Cash gaining uh, 56 percent so why don't we just go ahead and sell like six of them Okay, then Litecoin gains 67%. Okay, well, why don't we just go ahead and sell about, uh, uh, I don't know, like, say, 135 of them. And then it gains, like, 89%. Well, let's just go ahead and sell, like, 70 of them. I mean, we only got 40 left, but let's see what happens. Okay, Bitcoin Cash gains 39%. Let's sell, like, uh, 15 of them, maybe. And now Litecoin gains 20%. So let's maybe go 36. So well more than 20% of what I own it now I'm selling. Bitcoin Cash gains 18%. So let's sell maybe 6. Now it gains like 46%. So let's sell 8 and a quarter. And now it gains 44. So let's sell 5. Okay. So of the 5 that we had, I guess I will push the 1 on here. I'm just going to, it's such a small gain. I'm just going to buy that back just so I have inventory of Bitcoin Cash because I was getting short stacked on that with all those aggressive sales. So with the Bitcoin Cash here, I can just make a nice sell here, maybe uh, like 2.75, just get a regular trade in. And then we'll look at that 18 point, uh, uh, 2.5, that, so I can get like uh, maybe four and a quarter back. And now Litecoin gains 22%, so maybe we can try to go for aggressive play of 56 and get back 5, which is good considering I have 10. And then Litecoin gains 18%, so let's go like 48, 9. Again, higher numbers than they were before, 20% gain. And we've seen a lot of times Litecoin got a bunch in a row, so we will run into this problem most likely. So we'll see, but it's not going to work out that we're going to be still getting better profits when they happen now and again. So 12, uh, let's do uh, 31. 
And now Bitcoin Cash with a decent size gain. So let's go seven. Uh, another good gain. So let's go five. Uh, Litecoin with a decent gain. So let's go 42. Uh, doing it again. So let's go 36 this time. Uh, doing it. Nice, nice move here. So let's go like 50 of your 125. And now Bitcoin Cash uh, making that move. So something like this. It's only a small move. I only want to get a portion of the Litecoin that I bought and sold. Because I did an aggressive play. So maybe get back 40 of that 50. And then now we have a 23% move. So maybe I can sell like 6.5 and, and get like 50 again that way. Bitcoin Cash up 30%. So maybe sell 7.5 of them. Bitcoin Cash up 68. Maybe sell more than half of what I own. And now it goes up 26, so maybe sell half again, two and a half. Now Litecoin, 69% move, that's just huge. So let's sell maybe 300 of them. And now Bitcoin Cash, 37% move. So let's do the sort of same thing. Buy like maybe 250 of those Litecoin. And then wait for the next move. Okay, Bitcoin Cash up 31%. So of the 12, maybe we'll go 4.44, 4 and 4 ninths. Then Litecoin with a gain of uh, 30%, so let's go 145. I want better than 15. Oh, I guess we, I think I did the same thing last time, but at least we get the exact same number of comparisons this way. Uh, so 33, 330 rather that I own, so let's just go 81. And now another good gain, so let's go 65. Another good gain, so let's go 55. Another great gain, so let's go almost half of what we own. Let's go 60. And let's do another half again at 30. Okay, so of that big move, let's get a buyback. So of the 30, let's buy 41 of them back to start. Oh, I can do more than that. Let's just go ahead and maybe sell maybe 10 of them and get back 70 Litecoin. Yeah, let's do that. And now I can just even, just for something to do, I can just sell like, say, 19 Litecoin here. And then now make another nice Bitcoin cash sale. Let's go 14. Oh, a big one. Let's do like half, like even more than half, 15. Okay, so I'm going to do a port portion buy again, maybe buy 10 of those 15 back. And we're on day 144. So there's a 26% gain by Litecoin. Let's uh, go ahead and sell 59 of them. And another good gain, so let's go 48. Another good Litecoin gain, so let's go 39. Now Bitcoin Cash, so I could even just do something like I bought 39. It's got 42 of them back, gain three Litecoin. And then to go ahead and sell like maybe 36 Litecoin. Bitcoin Cash, do the same thing again. I did 36, maybe go buy 41 back, gain five. Bitcoin Cash with now a 23% move, so maybe sell nine and a half of them. Big, big gain of 73 Litecoin. Uh, nice little gain again of 20%, so let's sell maybe eight. Gain 75 more Litecoin. And of those Litecoin, well, let's now sell like 75 of them and get back 9.33. And now Bitcoin Cash gain. So let's uh, sell like eight, get back 75. Another Litecoin sale, so let's go maybe 80, get back 10 BCH, and just keep doing this. And again, I'm going to expect these numbers to be better because they're I'm selling in larger sizes this time than I did before. So now Litecoin with a 30% gain almost, I can go ahead and sell like 90 of them. Now it gains like 17%, I can sell like 80 of them. And maybe I'll run into problems here because it keeps going higher. Well, what do you do here? You at some point, again, use the aggressive decision to sell big. And, well, I'm going to sell 30 here. Just keep on doing it until it runs out. Well, now it's the same spot where I just want to get some of that ammunition back. Maybe get 36 of that 30 back. Now BCH with a decent size gate. I own 65. Kind of want to sell a little light because 
I kind of gained so many of them, but I gained 71. That's a big, big gain. And that 71 is going to really come in handy here now with this 19% uh, gain. I can come in and sell a good fraction of that, 50 of them. And then in here I can sell 35. Sell maybe 26. And I'm starting to run out. Of, run out. I got less Litecoin than I do Bitcoin Cash. And Bitcoin Cash is worth more. And that's part of what you do with this aggressive play. There's going to be times where one holding is going to be worth significantly more than the other based on the rally moves. But when the end game situation, it's going to play for spectacular gains. So 65 is the ownership here. Uh, getting lots of sales in a row. So let's just go 26. And still just continuing relentlessly. Now we're really starting to run out. And now Bitcoin Cash gets a 25% gain, so it's got to slowly, incrementally buy them back up. So we were at 24 Litecoin, so now let's, uh, I guess we had 6 that we, whatever, before, so maybe go 9. And now let's uh, make a serious Litecoin buy here, maybe try to double it up. Only cost 7 of the 91. So now let's sell some Litecoin here. Let's go 15. Sell some more. Let's go 12. And buy it back. So let's go buy back 16 of them. Okay, eight. Let's maybe sell nine. Then we get back 36. So you have 53 Litecoin. You add 37 or so. That's a big increase. So now BCH with a gain of that nature. Now let's see what happens if we do 12. We had 57. I want to do more than that, actually. Maybe go like uh, 15 and get back 72. So in this spot here, we can see that uh, well, 78 and 89, so much different numbers. But when... You look at the math on the price near the 5 number. If I was to bring this number down to 44.75, I would sell about 34 of them. Which means I get like 170 back, and that would be like 340, uh, 170, excuse me, that would bring me up to 170, 90, would be 260. So overall, I end up gaining like 80 more. I did a little better trading it this way. But anyway, thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.